Uh, that is the BBC News at One for this week. And indeed, that is it from the News at One here in London. After more than 37 years, you may know the programme is moving to a new home from Monday. So do join the team in Salford from Monday if you possibly can. From everybody here on the One O'Clock News team in London, it has been an absolute pleasure and a privilege. So thank you for watching every lunchtime. Right now, here on BBC One, it is time, of course, for the news wherever you are. Enjoy your afternoon. And from the London team, it's goodbye. Today at one, the Conservatives pledge to clarify the legal definition of a person's sex. The Equalities Minister, Kemi Badenoch, says this would make it easier to protect women-only spaces. Also on the programme. Three, two, one. Work starts on the Rob Burrow Centre for Motor Neurone Disease just hours after the rugby league hero died in hospital, surrounded by his family. He was asked, we were all there, yeah. and Rob, with you know, he used his eyes a lot for yes and no, and his eyes went there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was no hesitation, was there? No hesitation whatsoever. He wants it to go ahead today. His best friend, Kevin Sinfield, who's raised millions of pounds for research into the disease, says this is the moment they were all working for. As you can see, he's pretty raw still. He's, um, he'll leave a massive hole. And I know there'll be a lot of people out there who were heartbroken this morning. And 80 years on, we hear from one of the oldest surviving veterans of D-Day. And coming up on BBC News, preparations for the Euros start tonight as Scotland play Gibraltar and England host Bosnia and Herzegovina at St James's Park with the tournament just 11 days away. Hello and welcome to the BBC News at One, live from Salford.